Hello, this is Jo, Jo Ebby, and as you know, I love anything that saves time, and that's why I wanted to show you the new brand hub in Canva, because it will save you a shed load of time. So if you come over, we're in the homepage here, um, you can see it's got the brand hub. If you pay for the pro, it'll have this, you'll have this little crown sign, that means it's a paid um part of Canva. If you don't pay, then you won't have access to this. Um, so just know that that little crown is, that's what it's for. So if we click on that and I will show you this one. So you can see inside we've got logos, so you can upload your logo. If you've got different variations, you can add those as well. You know, sometimes you just want a um, black and white logo or a semi-transparent logo or whatever. Uh, you can upload those too. And then we have the colours, so your branded colours, so everything stays nice and clean. And fonts, so before you could have the, the logos, the colours and the fonts, but the fonts were limited to your heading, uh, subheading and body but now we can add in all these other ones as well which is awesome photos so you can upload your headshots or if you sell products you could upload your products here as well things that you're going to be using on a regular basis not something that you use on a one-off um, that's what you want to add here as you can see i've got it on transparent but i've also got it with a white background depending what i need it for and then graphics, these are my branded graphics. This is uh, Hannah and Diego, my little explorers for 193 Little Adventures Club. And as you can see, you can upload as many as you need. Um, and then icons, which I don't have. So that's basically in the brand kit, but there's more. You can also create branded templates so this is the reason why I love this section because it saves me so much time having branded templates. And what I used to do before was just assign something as a template and then copy it. But now we've got actual templates and I'll show you in a second how to make your file into a template. But before we get there, I want to show you brand controls. So if you work with a VA and maybe they're a little bit extra creative and don't stay on track or sometimes go and use colors that are not your branded colors or whatever you can restrict what they can use so if they're on your team then you can force them to use your branded colors you're forcing them to use your brand um, fonts and you can um, even add design approval which is helpful um, especially if you've got somebody new on the team or somebody who tends to take liberties with your brand uh, you can really dial that in and make sure they are doing what they're supposed to be doing so that's a really helpful feature um, and it's also really good if you've got uh, people who are maybe not designers or design orientated they can still go in and create things and keep it on brand because you're forcing them to use the brand colors and fonts and whatnot. So back to the templates. If you want to make a template, let's go to another file. Um, say I wanted to make this into a template. If you go up to share and uh, you've got brand templates, if you click on that and you can add it to a folder and you, know, you could add it to any of the folders or whatever. I'm not going to do that because this is not a brand template. And then when you are in your file and you're making something and you want to access your brand hub, it's just here on the left. And you can see there's the templates at the top and your logos, colors, fonts, photos, graphics, and icons. So when you first do this, if you haven't got anything uploaded, there is an option. It might okay so like the icons um if you click on that you can then upload whatever you need there right i hope that was helpful um if you want to try canva pro 
use the link below and yeah go and have fun with it this just this section itself um the branded hub saves so much time so i pay for canva pro just for this i would pay for canva pro just for this but you know i pay for all the other bells and whistles as well hope that was helpful if you've got any questions please let me know